Time for the list, Paul. Changing yeah. lives. Yeah, so I've spent some time this week in thinking about this. Robin, you've been on my mind. Oh, yeah? You know, because you're always complaining that we, in all the years that we've been together, have never really been able to help you get a fish on the hook, right? Even though I did have... <laughs> You're this close with skilling, like it was, yeah. Yeah. all you had to do was make I the I know, I, I really let that ship yeah. sail. So this is for everybody, but if it's all right with you, Robin, I'll kind of use yeah, your, sure. and you, your things. Right all here's right. five <clears throat> steps on how oh, to get married sweet. by the, the end of the summer. Look at the boutonniere, isn't that's that nice? Very sweet, yes. Went all yes. out on the budget there. All right, here's number one. You have to go where your target is, right? So, like, maybe you want to marry, if you want to marry a guy who's got some expendable income, you got to go, you know, to a place where he's got some expendable income. Maybe a golf course, something. Mm -hmm. If you want to marry a gambler, you're going to go to a gambling boat. If you want to marry a drinker, you mm -hmm. go to the bar. If you want to marry a priest, you go to the monastery. You got to narrow the field a little bit, right? Yeah. This mm -hmm. is very reasonable, correct? All right, so let's say and hypothetically. And you just hang out there on the golf course? Well, yeah, well, let's you start the drink cart. Yeah, well, even better. Here's, you go to okay. the golf course, right? This is step number two. Position yourself or find a position uh, where you're going to have a chance to, that you're visible and you have a chance to interact. Okay. And like if you were the starter at a golf course, right? Just imagine this. Somehow you get, you What's can leave starter? here. A starter is the guy who, when before all the golfers go out, they have to walk up to him and show the receipt and give their name. Ah. This has your name written all over it. You leave here, you're, you could be the starter at a golf course by 10.30, 10.45, right? That sounds Go to like the North Shore, right? But mm -hmm. then you got all these men walking up to you and you're having interactions yeah. with them. One after that, oh. they're giving you their name. Now here's step three, now listen. You have to pace yourself because I know how you can get way out over your heels on this, right? <laughs> so what you say to them when they, they're probably making eyeballs at you and yeah. stuff like that, and you just say, well, listen, I'd love to golf with you today, but I'm sitting right here on my sofa and I'm going to watch some TV, but I'll be thinking about you while you're out there golfing. You just bring a little sofa along, set it out there on the side of the course. So you play hard to get? Play hard to get. Mm -hmm. Don't ah. put it all out there. Don't chase them around and say, hey, I'll go, go golf with you. Ah. Ah. Send them off. Yeah. Tease them a little bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone with me still yes. on this? Yep. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think you lost a few people, so but I'm yeah. going. I'm with you. 100%. All yeah. right. Here is, I don't know what step I'm on number right now. Number four. You're going to need to offer something to the men no, that they no. maybe need no. or want. Now All he's right? getting So now trouble. you start thinking this through a little bit. They're out on a golf course. It could be hot and sweaty out there. Yeah. And you come along with, you know, like a glass of water uh, or a garden hose. Or spaghetti or, gelatin uh, Yeah, Ooh. some food or some sandwiches. Yeah. And you kind of get into their mind because they're out there hot and sweaty and thirsty. And then you come prancing along. <laughs> and they're like, wow, she really meets a lot of the needs that I yeah. have in my life. I'm hungry, and boy, this could yeah. Not, you're in their head now. Right. Like you are almost halfway down the aisle All right. at that point. Right, Patrick, am I right? Yeah, no, that's a, Larry, it's a lot I of right? steps, yeah. but yeah. it's so far, so good. good. Yeah, play it out. All right, I forgot the last one. Uh, okay, and then you got to carefully lure them in. Okay. Right, now this is always, I go back to this fishing analogy, right? Like. Are you going to throw a little lure out there? The lure kind of needs to be shiny. Maybe it jiggles a little bit because think the fish are always distracted. But yeah. they see something shiny and wiggly and jiggly. They start looking at it and they go you after it. call her it. wiggly and jiggly? Well, I'm just not. To, I'm just using a fishing yeah. analogy. Okay. I think there's right. another You're not analogy. saying she should be wearing a rhinestone just brazier. No, I'm, yeah. no, I'm not saying that. Oh. I'm just saying you got to... Lure them in. Think yeah. about the like a fishing deal, right? Like you don't just say, "Hey, yeah. here I am, come get me." Now there's a little bit uh, of a dance that goes yeah. on. You got to distract them, get them thinking about stuff. Yeah. Shiny, you know, fish. Woo! You know, they see something yeah. shiny and they're That's, all over it. Let right? me say, Paul. That is a good plan. I, w I would have no, thought. No, it's not a good well, plan. He's an is. idiot. I would have thought being on the most watched morning news show in the second biggest city in America for four hours a day would have right. been enough to put her out right. there. Right, right. <laughs> but right. she can also do right. all of that. And this is for everybody. That's yeah. the thing. Like, yeah. Find something that's, you know, shiny and alluring. Lure. The word lure, right? It's like this. You're going to reel them in. So you find that thing that wiggles and jiggles and shines and then, yeah. Yank it yeah. and pull it in and kill it and it's yours. All right. There you are. Thank Just you, Dr. Phil.